I'm Dr. Kevin Jolson. I'm the medical director for primary care sports medicine at Milford Regional Orthopedics. PRP or platelet-rich plasma is a treatment we offer where we draw a patient's blood, spin it in a centrifuge to isolate out the plasma component of your blood, which has the highest concentration of platelets. We then use that plasma to inject into a damaged structure or area of injury in hopes of healing or helping to decrease the pain response in that area. The idea behind PRP is that platelets contain a high concentration of growth factors that can hopefully help induce healing to tissues or modulate how our body has an inflammatory response to injury to hopefully help with pain and functionality. There are a lot of conditions we can use to help treat with PRP. Primarily it's used for degenerative processes. So for example, tennis elbow or lateral epicondylopathy where the tendons on the outside of the elbow are worn down and degenerated or have small tears within them, as well as in arthritis. Specifically, arthritis of the knee has the highest amount of evidence to support the use of PRP. But there's more and more evidence to support the use of PRP in a lot of different conditions. For example, plantar fasciitis has some data to show benefit with PRP compared to cortisone injections. There's also some data to say that rotator cuff tendinopathy or tears of the rotator cuff can benefit from PRP. But I think there's more and more data to say that for a lot of different arthritis or degenerative tendon, muscle, or ligament issues, PRP could potentially provide benefit. The additional benefits of PRP is that it's using a patient's own blood, so there's no risk of significant side effects or reactions to it. In general, it's really well tolerated other than a little bit of pain after the injection and could potentially provide prolonged relief from pain or stiffness, especially with arthritis. The entire procedure involves a few steps. We generally have patients come in for a consultation to evaluate their disease or their condition, decide where the primary pathology or problem is, and determine if PRP would be a good option for them. We briefly explain the process of PRP as well as preparation before the procedure and then have patients come back a few days later to do the actual procedure. On the day of the injection, we draw your blood, spin it in the centrifuge for about 15 minutes, and then use the ultrasound to guide where the needle goes and inject the PRP into the area of damaged tissue. So the entire procedure takes less than an hour and most patients can resume their usual activities within a few days afterwards. So if you have chronic pain, whether it's from arthritis, tendon, muscle, ligament issues, come on down, we're happy to chat, talk about PRP or other potential options for you.